it's a tough, that's a tall order. It's a tough task, I would think, for, for Terrence. Uh, but at the same time, I would bag him. I think that his skill level is, is, is up there with the greatest. So I think that Canelo is not who he was three or four years ago. Really wouldn't say he's declining, definitely not fast, but I mean, his career is definitely not doing this. And it hasn't done this in two or three years. Boxing never lacks stunning claims and predictions. And one of those is predicting that a 154 pounder has the boxing power and strength to go up against one of the greatest boxers of all time, who isn't only bigger, but arguably better and more experienced as far as the super middleweight division is concerned. It's the proposed Canelo Alvarez versus Terence Crawford fight. And while it's easy to pick out Canelo Alvarez as the likely winner, not even after the shambolic display of Terence Crawford in his fight against Israel Madrimov, which was his debut in the super welterweight division of 154 pounds, different and better, no? Terrence Crawford is a great fighter, he's a good fighter, but you know, like I say, he's a weight classes for a reason. He clearly lacked enough power to do much damage on Israel Madrimov, while Madrimov's punches were doing much damage on him due to the weight difference. Definitely, should the fight have happened at the 147 pound division, where Terrence Crawford won all his nine fights by knockout, the punches he landed on Madrimov would have done enough damage to force a knockout or at least a knockdown. But that wasn't the case, as he's now added seven more pounds to his body weight. If the struggle is this much with seven pounds, how much more when he adds 12 pounds against Canelo Alvarez? I understand, you know, Canelo is bigger than me and whatnot, but uh, I'm up for the challenge. But boxing is a sport of shockers, and we're all ready for it. What's more interesting is that we have a good number of boxing professionals who are preparing boxing fans for a Terence Crawford masterclass should the fight between Terence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez eventually come to pass. Former world champion and commentator Tim Bradley believes Terence Crawford will be victorious against undisputed super middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez. I would pick Terence Crawford to beat a Canelo Alvarez, even at 168. I think that his skill level is up there with the greatest. In fact, he's of the belief that there is only one man who can end Terence Crawford's dominance in boxing, and it is surprisingly not fellow pound-for-pound -pound superstar Canelo Alvarez. While he has not earned the same notoriety as boxing megastars like Alvarez or heavyweight great Tyson Fury, there is little doubt Crawford is, arguably, the best boxer on the planet. His 41-0 record and the recent destruction of fellow welterweight star Errol Spence Jr. solidified that fact. It is why there has been a debate raging for the last year about if there is any active fighter that could hand Bud the first loss of his career. For a fact, I've never seen anybody that has everything. Good speed, power, timing, uh, can switch the way he switches. Some have suggested Teofimo Lopez could be an option if he is willing to move up to super welterweight. Others believe Alvarez could be the man if Crawford wanted to take the risk of jumping up several weight classes for a mega fight. But former WBO and WBC light welterweight champion Tim Bradley doesn't believe either of the two can derail the Bud train. Instead, he feels Crawford himself is the only man who can end his reign of terror over the sport. Uh, I don't think we've seen anything like Terrence Crawford. Uh, in all my years of boxing, I know that for a fact. Uh, I do study history. Um, I've never seen anybody that has everything. I think the only person that can beat Crawford is himself at this point, Bradley told Fight Hype recently. Madrimov is the champion and he must be respected. But as far as skill for skill, Crawford all day. I think he'll do well against Canelo. I really do. Would I be nervous if they were to fight? Hell yeah, because Canelo can punch and all it will take is one big punch. But as long as he uses his legs, his athleticism, and his defense to get out of the way, then he should be able to beat Canelo. Interestingly, Bradley thinks Crawford can outbox Canelo just like Floyd Mayweather Jr. did 11 years ago when he defeated the Mexican star when he was 22 years old, fighting at a catch weight in 2013. Good speed, power, timing. Uh, can switch the way he switches, to have the toughness, the meanness that he has. Crawford is about to turn 37, has never fought above 147, and would be coming up in weight without being tested at 168 by the top contenders. More fans would agree with Bradley if Crawford were interested in providing himself at 160 against the killers and at 168 to show that he can hang. The fans perceive Crawford is in a hurry to get a huge payday against Canelo and a golden parachute so that he can live in luxury in his retirement years. One of the smartest guys that I've ever seen in the ring, uh, right up there with Floyd Mayweather. So, uh, yeah, I, I would I would 
pick Terrence Crawford. This is the problem. The fact that he fought against Jermel Charlo. Charlo comes in at 154, said Tim Bradley to Fight Hype, reacting to Canelo Alvarez saying he's not interested in fighting welterweight Terrence Crawford because there's nothing to gain from fighting him. He, Jermel, moved up a couple of weight divisions to fight Canelo. He got in there and laid an egg. He just basically went in there and survived. He just felt like I'm not on Canelo's level. But the difference is the mentality of Crawford. He's a top pound for pound guy, said Bradley. Well, we don't know if Crawford will be any different from Jermel Charlo because he's not volunteering to test himself against some of the top super middleweights to give fans a reference point. Everybody can call me crazy and whatever you want to say. I get it. Um, Y'all didn't believe me when I told you about Spence. But if Crawford chose to prove himself against David Benavidez or David Morrell, you could feel confident that he just showed up for the payday against Canelo without trying to win. Since Crawford has no intention of fighting anyone at 168 before fighting Canelo, you can only conclude this is about money and nothing else. Charlo was never a top pound for pound guy. The skill set of Crawford is what he brings, said Bradley. He's a competitor, man, and he's been after Canelo. He wants to fight Canelo, and I think he'll do well against Canelo. I really do. Now, am I nervous about the fight if they fight? Hell yeah, because Canelo can punch. That dude can punch, and all it takes is one. He hits a guy like Terrence one time, who's coming up three weight classes to be able to face him. However, just like we saw with Floyd Mayweather, he was able to outbox him in 2013 when Canelo was 22 years old and was able to outthink him and outthink him. Bradley uses Mayweather as an example to justify his argument that Crawford can give up huge size against Canelo and beat him, but we really don't know if that holds water. Canelo fought welterweight Mayweather at 154. If the fight was to happen, if the fight was to happen, you, you will see. Because mm. yeah. a lot of people think... It wasn't a situation where Mayweather moved up to 168 and fought a prime version of Canelo who was at full strength. But Bradley had more evidence in support of Crawford. I think Crawford has that ability to outbox him, outthink him, make him miss, make him pay, said Bradley. As long as he's not catching too many of them and using his legs and his athleticism and his defense to get out of the way, he should be able to beat Canelo. Slow plodding forward, Canelo's got a good jab, good quickness and throws a lot of hooks. Crawford just get away from all of those and get underneath them. He should be able to beat Canelo. Terrence can compete, but once he touches Canelo, Canelo, because he's been hit by bigger guys, he's not going to, I don't want to say show him respect, but he's going to be able to go, okay, I can walk through this. We're basing it on what Charlo was able to do. Charlo didn't do nothing. He was scared. He didn't want to get knocked out. I don't blame him. He didn't want to end up on a poster. I understand that, but you said you wanted to be great. You weren't great that night. Crawford is daring to be great, and I think he can do it, said Bradley. While Canelo hasn't paid much heed to the challenge, the fans surely did, who are divided on what would happen. But Sean Porter, who knows quite well what Crawford could do, says he is concerned. I am concerned about him absorbing a Canelo punch. It's a tough fight to predict, no doubt. Just look at Crawford's dominant performance against an elite level boxer like Errol Spence Jr. Regardless, speaking to Marcos Villegas from Fight Hub TV, Porter commented on Crawford climbing two divisions and the power difference that exists between the boxers fighting in two different weight classes. I am concerned about him absorbing a Canelo punch, especially through the course of 12 rounds, Porter confessed. However, Porter had an interesting analysis, suggesting Canelo would eventually slow down as he had done in most of his recent fights. So, it led Porter to believe Canelo would start the fight on the front foot and bang on Crawford and break him down before the late rounds when he won't have the energy while Crawford would. Even so, Sean Porter didn't seem convinced that he had the answer to who would emerge victorious claiming, but there's so many components that make a champion. It's a conversation that lasts an hour easily when we talk about all the components that Terrence Crawford has. And he's still got that kind of steam, but you know, there's so many components that make a champion. There's so many components that make a great, a legend. Sean Porter, who was stopped by Crawford in the 10th round of their 147 title, bout disagrees that Canelo Alvarez has the advantage here. He told Fight Hype that his former opponent has many advantages against an aging Canelo. You have to get your mind out of the space of who's stronger. Boxing ain't just about strength. Who's smarter? Who's more athletic? Who's faster? Who's got more stamina? Who's got more experience? The list goes on. You add all that up and you think, wow, a lot is actually on Terence's side? I actually think that fight would be really interesting. I think that Canelo is not who he was three, four years ago. I wouldn't say he's declining fast, 
but his career is definitely not doing this going up, and it hasn't done this stayed level in two or three years. It ain't a fast decline, but Canelo's certainly not who he used to be. A fight between them would be interesting and definitely competitive. He's not doing this, and it hasn't done this in two or three years. So obviously, you, it ain't a fast decline, but he is, Canelo's certainly just not who he used to be. Porter might not be sure if Bud could pull off the win, but Crawford's other former opponent does. Since his fight against Crawford last year, the truth hasn't fought in over a year, even though a rumored fight against Sebastian Fundora is being negotiated for later this year. Regardless, Spence actually had the opportunity to activate his rematch clause with Crawford, but chose not to. Whether it's because he needs more time to prepare for Crawford or has lost hope, Spence Jr. sure knows how formidable Terence Crawford is. According to a tweet from TalkSport editor Michael Benson, the truth spoke on a potential fight between Crawford and Canelo. If you fight Canelo, I'll yeah. be going for him. I mean, I don't know if he's going to win or lose, but i definitely be going Crawford, I think. I think. He said if Crawford wants to challenge himself to be great, let him try to be great. I'm with it. As for who he thinks will win, Spence's words exuded confidence in his former opponent. I'd be going for Bud. I don't know if he'd win or lose, but if anybody can pull it off, he can pull it off, Spence added. Hall of Fame fighter and current promoter, trainer, and respected analyst Roy Jones Jr. shared scenarios in which he sees both Terence Crawford and David Benavidez beating Alvarez. He began with David Benavidez saying, It's a tough fight to call because Benavidez throws a lot of punches. Sometimes power can intervene and make that a different situation, Jones said in an interview with BoxingScene.com. He's a little big for Crawford, I'm not sure about that because Crawford does have, does have punching power and shock, but I think Canelo's a little big. He showed tonight that he's pretty... The problem is, is Canelo willing to take the risk? I don't really think he will right now because I don't think he feels like he has a reason to. If he can't hurt Benavidez early in the first three or four rounds, I don't see him winning that fight. The two-time 168-pound titleist, Benavidez has been pounding the table for a crack at Alvarez over the last two years. Formerly recognized as the best welterweight in the world, Crawford is open to moving up two weight classes for the chance at clashing with the Mexican star. Alvarez, meanwhile, maintains that a win against Crawford would do little for his legacy, even though many are giving Crawford a real chance to score the win. Charlo fight Crawford first, and then see what, how that goes. If he does good against Charlo with the weight, then let's see him come up and fight Canelo, yes. If anybody can do it and pull it off, it's Crawford. So you can't tell him no, said Jones. I was the kind of guy that if someone said they were better than me, and if I can get close to your weight, here I come. I gave John Ruiz 33 pounds when I won the heavyweight title in 2003. I didn't care. I wanted to prove that I was pound for pound the best and to do something historic that had never been done. That's probably how Bud feels right now. He wants to do something historic to solidify his legacy in boxing. Who doesn't want to see the pound for pound best from yesterday fight the pound for pound best from today? Who wouldn't want to see that fight? It's a mega fight. If he puts the muscle and weight on, how can you doubt him? One thing that's for sure is that he's going to go out there and fight and not just collect a paycheck. He's going to go out there and try to win the fight because that's who Bud is. If he carries the weight, it'll be a good fight. He can box just like Floyd Mayweather and he can also fight. He hits and doesn't get hit. If he can take the punch at that weight, he'll probably win the fight. Our uh, uh, come up with weight classes and show he can be dumb at 54. You understand? You think that fight will go to Crawford and uh, Crawford, yeah. Crawford won a pound pound best fight to fight. Jones, who fluctuated in weight during the latter half of his career as a four division title holder, said Alvarez should continue his career moving forward at super middleweight. It's definitely best that Alvarez stays at 168. I didn't understand why he went to 175 to fight Dmitry Bival anyway, said Jones. He had already beaten Sergei Kovalev, who was at the end of his career. Bivol was in the middle of his. They are two different animals. He got the crusher at the right time. Go back down and dominate where you are at. Don't try to fight another one, because lightning ain't going to strike twice. Also, former two-weight world champion Andre Ward has voiced his opinion on the potential super fight between Saul Canelo Alvarez and Terence Crawford. I, I can bet the house on his butt. Because me and him, me and him, we so much alike. And Bud has been targeting Canelo ever since he put in a career-defining performance last year against welterweight rival Errol Spence Jr. 
Although the Mexican originally dismissed the fight, he recently admitted he would be prepared to defend his super middleweight titles against the naturally smaller man if the money was right. Speaking on the All The Smoke podcast, Ward, who retired with a perfect record of 32 wins from 32 fights, named the two matchups he wants to see most in boxing. I want to see Canelo fighting Terence Crawford or David Benavidez. You got two options. You can go somebody in your weight class, or you can try and pick on the smaller guy, Terence Crawford. My mentality, like soon, soon as I see this dude, he come in the room, or I come in the room, we start arguing <laughs> about basketball, wrestling, anything, bro. Like, man, you can't, man, you looking small. What you mean I'm looking small? You looking small? Like, it's just that, like, you got on the potential Crawford Canelo clash, his money would be on the man who last fought at three weight classes lower. I'm not betting against Terrence right now against anybody, not doing it. Talking about the most skilled fighters in the game today, Ward says Crawford is someone you can bet your house on. Somebody I can bet the house on is Bud. Me and him are so much alike in our mentality. He's skillful, yes, but his heart and mind are different. There's not a lot of guys like that out there currently. There's a lot of guys that talk it. But until you get in that real fight, I'm not saying a guy you should beat. I'm saying a guy that is a 50 50 matchup, then we don't really know what you have. You gotta really hurt that dude to turn him away and to try to stop him from doing what he wanna do. So skillful, yes. But this oh, and this, yeah. it's different, man. He's different, he's a dog. That's the stuff that gets me out of my seat. It means that when you need to be that guy, you can be that guy. A fighter who famously refers to Terrence Crawford as his big brother, Shakur Stevenson, also believes Terrence Crawford would beat Canelo Alvarez if they ever fought, despite conceding a 14 pounds weight disadvantage to the Mexican superstar. Unlike Charlo, Canelo insists he has no interest in securing a fight with Crawford due to the size factor. However, Stevenson doesn't think it would be a problem for the pound for pound king. The former two-weight world champion affirms that skills win fights, not size, and believes Bud has the winning formula with his southpaw stance, excellent movement, and solid fundamentals to cause Canelo a real headache. I think Bud could beat Canelo. Like I said, I've been saying this, I don't think size win fights, I think skills do. So. Yeah, I think like, like being a southpaw with good movement and sharp boxing, it'd be hard for Canelo with that high guard to walk him down and load up on them big hooks. I think Bud would beat Canelo. When speaking about Crawford's next steps to IFL TV, Stevenson said, Terrence Crawford is running things right now. As for who he should face next, I would love to see him go up against Charlo. Although Charlo is already lined up against Canelo, I genuinely believe Crawford could beat Canelo. Being a southpaw with good movement and solid boxing, it would be tough for Canelo to walk Crawford down and load up on his powerful hooks. I wish Charlo wasn't fighting against Canelo, but it is what it is. I think Bud could beat Canelo. I would like to see it, just because I know, like, I don't think size wins fights, I think skills do. And that's all for now. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to turn on notifications to get notified when we drop quality contents like this. Until next time, peace out.